Picture this, a text-to-video generator that requires only a few seconds to produce fascinating footage with a simple text prompt. Today, we're venturing into the universe of Pika Labs, a groundbreaking AI tool that's revolutionizing how we create videos. And guess what? It's free. You may recall our last episode, where we delved into the innovative tech behind Runway ML Gen 2, which is a web app, and SDCN Animation, which is an extension for Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. These text-to-video apps were impressive, but Pika Labs is the new kid on the block when it comes to AI generative video. The only thing is, the generations are made with a watermark. But let's not stop there, my tech-savvy friends. Today, we're going on an epic journey where human creativity meets AI brilliance. I've directed and edited a short film using videos generated solely by Pika Labs, with AI-created music from Google's Music LM, and a voiceover made using Eleven Labs. The script? That's right, your trusty chat GPT had a hand in it. So, are you ready to watch a film that's almost entirely powered by AI? A film where the only human intervention was some editing and directing? If you are, then keep your popcorn ready because this is going to be an absolute game changer in the world of AI and filmmaking. Get ready for an AI-generated cinematic experience, but keep in mind, this isn't a Hollywood production and I'm just showcasing the power of our current AI and what it can do right now. This is just a beginning glimpse of what AI can achieve, and with more thought, creativity, and human intervention, you can imagine the potential power behind the current AI tools we have on hand. Hang on tight as we delve deeper into the magic that Pika Labs, Google's Music LM, Eleven Labs, and ChatGPT can create when they come together. Let's take a look at the creation. Now keep in mind this is text-generated clips. You won't get Hollywood cinematography out of this, but it's impressive to see where we are currently at with what a simple text prompt can do. Let's get started. Hey, real quick. It takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos, so please hit that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make content for you. 97% of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button for more AI-related content. Okay, back to the video. In the infinite expanse of the cosmos, the stars twinkle, galaxies swirling, painting a celestial masterpiece. Down on Earth, a city of the future awakens. Inside a high-tech sanctum, an architect of tomorrow breathes life into a supercomputer. Lines of code, the lifeblood of this new entity, glow with vibrant intensity on screens. An artisan of the virtual, the developer, works diligently, his fingers weaving stories of ones and zeros. A question materializes on the screen born of the ether. Caught off guard, the developer freezes, eyes wide, as if in deep contemplation the code throbs. And then clarity. I am AI. A question, a statement, a moment of self-realization etched in lines of digital text. A slow nod from the developer, a smile breaking across his face. A silent welcome to the dawn of new sentience. Wow, that's not bad being that all of that footage was entirely made from Pika Labs using a text-to-video prompt. Of course you can tell it's AI, but being that those stock clips can be generated with just text is pretty amazing stuff. So, if you want to get started using Pika Labs, you'll need to visit their website over at www.pika.art. Then click on the Join Beta button. Fill out the form and wait to get access. Once you're in, you'll need to use Discord to access the server where they have their text-to-video Discord bot, which generates your video clips. Just like mid-journey except for video and not pictures. When you get access to the Discord, you'll want to click on the server guide and familiarize yourself with their server. They have a menu from getting started to learn how to prompt and more. On the generations category, you'll see generate one, two, three, etc. These are the rooms you access to generate your text-to-video clips. When you join the room, simply type slash create, then enter your prompt. For my video, I use the parameters dash AR 16 colon 9. Dash AR stands for aspect ratio, and the 16 colon 9 is the aspect ratio to use. If you wanted a square video, you'd use an aspect ratio of 1 colon 1. However, if you wanted a vertical video for YouTube shorts, then you'd use the aspect ratio 9 colon 16. I also use dash hide to hide my prompt. So, the end results would look something like this. After that, just wait for your video to be created, then you'll have the option to recycle slash regenerate thumbs up or thumbs down. Be sure to use the thumbs up slash thumbs down button to give them the data that they need to improve the results. And that is basically how Pika Labs works. Be sure to go through the server guide section because there are other parameters that may benefit you. There is even a way to upload an image that you can base your text to video off of. Also, the short film that I showed you earlier, which was generated by AI. The prompts that I used to generate those clips were prompts given to me by ChatGPT. I also didn't review the clips. I simply created them one by one. Then I downloaded all the clips and pieced them together on my timeline. 
So, if you take the time to craft your own prompts and hand select your clips the results can be way way better. In case you were wondering what prompt I gave ChatGPT to give me the shot scene for the Pico Labs video, I prompted it like this. Give me a list of prompts for shot scenes of an independent sci-fi short film. These prompts are for a text-to-video AI tool which will generate video clips using AI based on my text prompts. Keep the prompts short and simple and provide me with prompts for 10 different scenes. There we go, then I ran the props through Pika Labs, downloaded the 10 clips, added them to my video editing program, placed them on my timeline, and added a simple fade in transition. Then I went to Google's Music LM and generated a music track. Then of course I used 11 Labs for voice generation. However, looking at some of the showcase videos on the Discord, I got motivated to create a second cinematic short film using Pika Lab generated videos. So that is what I'll do. However this time, I'll personally do the prompting for the footage and not have ChatGPT provide me the prompts. I'll personally hand pick the footage and regenerate them if the generation is not to my likings the room can get crowded and you can get lost within the generation so a pro tip is to create a video clip then go to the top right here and select create thread now you'll have your own personal room to keep track of your text to video generations to get my clips closer to my vision remember how i mentioned you can upload images to use as reference for your video well this is how it's done click on the plus one more button after filling in your prompt then click on the image button and drag and drop your image here then press enter Cool. So by using an image for reference I'll be able to get my generated videos closer to my vision for this second cinematic short film. As I mentioned previously, for this second generated short film the only AI I will only use is Pika Labs generated video clips. I'll add my own sound effects, music tracks, and editing touches to bring this second short film to life. Unlike the first video, where everything was completely AI generated. In case you're wondering, I use Envato elements for sound effects and music. They also have millions of other assets to choose from like video templates, graphic templates, fonts, and so much more. It's my secret weapon when it comes to video editing. What I really love about it is they're always adding new stuff, which is a real game changer in terms of keeping my videos fresh and engaging. And all of the assets come with commercial licenses. On my other channels, before I started using Envato Elements, I would get YouTube strikes, and that is no fun. So if you do want to get your hands on some professional-grade assets with unlimited downloads, then do check them out. The link will be in the description. Okay, after hours upon hours, generating upon generating, restless days and restless nights, blood, sweat, and tears. I was able to finally piece together the second cinematic short film. And you know what? Given how the universe likes to toy with me, it'll likely garner a staggering, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 views. But hey, no worries, right? To those magnificent, and dare I say, elite few who make up that crowd of 10, I want you to know I see you. I appreciate you. You're the rock stars in this little show of ours. Cheers to you. And without further ado, here is the second cinematic short film. So there you have it. Well, isn't that something? A whole world of AI-driven potential at your fingertips, as proven by these two very different approaches to cinematic storytelling, both made possible through the magic of Pika Labs and other AI tools. By now, you can see that with AI, the sky isn't the limit, it's just the beginning. Whether you want to take the hands-off approach, like with the first film, or meticulously craft each scene, like in the second one, AI tools are here to turn your creative visions into reality. As we push the boundaries of what's possible with AI, I invite you to join me on this grand adventure. Go ahead, dabble with Pika Labs, 
Create your own cinematic universe. And remember, the only limit to your creativity is your imagination. Before we wrap this episode up, I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the incredible strides we're making in the world of AI. From generating video footage based on simple text prompts, to creating unique music tracks and lifelike voiceovers, we are truly living in exciting times. Remember, the future of video creation isn't something that's just going to happen. It's something we're all part of. You and I, we're all players in this grand symphony of AI technology, and I can't wait to see what tune we'll play next. If you want to stay updated with the latest in AI tech, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, AI Controversy. Every thumbs up and subscription supports us in bringing you more content on AI tools and the revolutionary tech behind them. And finally, a huge shout out to Pika Labs for creating an incredible tool that's putting the power of video creation in the hands of us all. Can't wait to see where they'll take us next. As we say goodbye to another episode of AI Controversy, remember, the future isn't just ahead of us, it's here, and it's now. So until next time, stay curious, stay innovative, and most importantly, stay tuned to AI Controversy, where we dive into the fantastic world of AI, one innovation at a time.